All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi, and today we're gonna to be ranking all of the light side heroes in Star Wars Battlefront 2 in order from worst to best for Galactic Assault. Now I am gonna confirm that that is for Galactic Assault, not heroes versus villains. So if you think some of these heroes are a little bit lower than they should be, that's probably because they aren't as viable in GA as they are in HVV. So they may be a little lower on the list than you would expect. Now this is of course 100% my opinion on the rankings for the heroes. So if you guys have a different opinion and you rank your heroes differently, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, starting off at number nine, we have Chewbacca. And yes, Chewbacca is a beast in HVV, but in Galactic Assault, he is just not that good. His shock grenade is okay at times, but still is left very vulnerable if you don't hit all of the people in front of you. His furious bowcaster can be really effective and is probably the only one of his abilities that I actually use when I'm playing him. And the charge slam is definitely something that's hard to get used to and again leaves you extremely vulnerable. The charge slam is how Chewie gets his health back which makes it a little bit silly to have a health on kill card for that. I just don't think it's used often enough to get health back. He should really just have a health on kill instead of having a health on ability kill. Coming in at number eight is Finn and the thing with Finn is he can be extremely effective on certain maps but it's pretty much just because of his dead eye ability. The dead eye ability does lock on to any target that's within range and when you have the upgraded star cards it can be really effective. The problem is his other two abilities. Yes, they are good and they do help buff and support your team, but at the same time, they're just not good enough. Finn's undercover team is how he regens health and again it should just be a health on kill card and not health on ability. Undercover team doesn't do enough damage in my opinion and I really don't use it enough to gain that much health back. So if I do get into a little bit of trouble I am most likely going to die. The big deal ability can be good because it does give you a bit of bonus health but the slower movement speed once it's activated definitely is a big negative and is just going to end up getting you killed because if you try to heal yourself and then run from someone because you're in trouble you end up running slower and you're going to die anyway. Coming in at number seven and I hate to put her here but it is Princess Leia. Now Leia I absolutely love playing but I just don't think she is that good. Her flash grenade is pretty much a weaker version of the officer and I've been saying this for the longest time. They should have just switched Leia's flash grenade with the officer's flash grenade and everything would have been fine. I think she definitely deserves to have some damage when hers hits instead of just blinding enemies. The rapid fire is her best ability. It can melt infantry really really quickly and her squad shield is good for placing over objectives, but I just don't think she is that great of a hero especially in GA. One thing that irritates me about people that use Leia all the time is they tend to sit at the back of maps like Crate and Hoth and just spam the secondary fire ability to try and get easy kills. There's nothing more annoying than trying to play on those maps and just getting picked off from like 300 meters away when they pretty much don't even have to aim. I think something the DICE team should look to do is definitely nerf the range of the secondary fire and I think Leia would be much less annoying. Number six, as much as I love playing him is Obi-Wan. Now I think Obi-Wan once you get used to him can be really good. I've had some 40 plus kill streaks on Geonosis with him but I just think there are other heroes that are better. The problem with Obi-Wan is his all out push ability definitely takes way too long to charge up. Now you can use the star card to make it quicker but he has some other really good star cards that I just don't want to unequip like the health on kill and the extra health regeneration. Those two plus the star card that does bonus damage with his defensive rush are all number one star cards for him for me and I don't think I'll be changing them out to speed up his push ability. I find myself not using the push at all unless I can sneak up behind an enemy and catch them by surprise. Restrictive mind trick is good in heroes vs villains but in GA it definitely doesn't do anything to infantry. If you need restrictive mind trick to kill infantry then you're probably not playing the hero right and if you are coming up against another hero they can always just block with a lightsaber or jump if they are a hero. Defensive rush is definitely his best ability and I use it all the time. There's nothing more satisfying than getting a good defensive rush through a hallway and clearing it out by destroying battle droids or some other kind of enemy in one hit. Yes, that's right, one hit. If you have the star card at purple, it will kill all infantry except for heavies in one go. So definitely consider that if it's not part of your star card lineup. Number five is going to be Yoda and Yoda I love using. He's so quick and so hard to hit and super frustrating to play against. His unleash ability is really effective in narrow hallways.
always charging it up, loading in those shots and just unleashing it on everyone really makes for a cool effect and a satisfying feeling when you get a bunch of kills. His presence star card is not only good for himself, but also for teammates. So being able to give them some extra health is a great thing. The dash attack is very versatile. You can use it in offense and defense. If you need to retreat and get away from enemies because you're in danger, you can use this and even use presence while using the dash attack to stop the animation from presence. Number four is Luke. And those of you that watch the channel a lot know that I absolutely love using Luke. His force push is a one hit kill to any infantry except for heavy. It's super fun to use and also knocking enemies off the edge in Heroes vs. Villains is pretty funny too. The repulse ability can be dangerous, but when used in combination with the rush ability, it can be really good. For those of you that are looking for tips with Luke, use a rush to get your first hit on an enemy and then follow it up with a repulse and hopefully that should take them out. Unless you're taking on a hero, that should eliminate most infantry as well. So Luke finds himself at number four. Number three is Han Solo and yes, Han is one of my absolute favorites. Detonite charge is a complete beast. If you get that anywhere near an infantry, they are going down. The explosion itself is going to kill them, but if you don't and they have been buffed and it's like a heavy or something like that, his blaster is a godsend. That thing does so much damage and if you have good aim and can get headshots, you're basically getting a one hit kill on infantry. Two hits if it is a heavy. The sharpshooter ability is great for melting heroes. I love using it in tight hallways when you've got a team running towards you. It can take out a lot of enemies very quickly. The shoulder charge ability I don't use too much but it definitely is good when you need to retreat or run away from enemies. It gets you out of there a lot quicker. So I definitely think Han is deserving of number three. Number two is of course Lando, Han's best friend. I was tossing up between Han and Lando for position three and two. I just think Lando's sharp shot is so freaking good. The thing with it is it can line up a ton of enemies and anyone that's had like five or six kills in one sharp shot knows how how satisfying it can be and how much health you can get back from that. Lando's health card is on any kill so it definitely is worth it when you have the sharp shot ability and you get a good amount of kills with it. The disabler is great if you get into trouble you can just stun anyone and it's really effective against heroes if you get crept up on and you need to get out of there quickly. The smoke grenade does the exact same thing it's more of an escape mechanism if you need to get out of trouble. And coming in at number one yes you guys guessed it it is Mary Sue or Ray if we we just call her by her regular name. Ray is super overpowered and stupidly good in this game. Her abilities are really cool and I'm glad they gave her these abilities. There's been some people that complained about them, but I really enjoy them. The inside ability not only does it let you see through walls and where enemies are, it also gives you unlimited stamina and bonus damage as well. That ability on its own makes Ray super powerful. The dash strike, if you have the star card attached that boosts her dash strike, Similar to Obi-Wan's, it is a one hit kill to all infantry except for heavies. Even then, when you hit a heavy, you can just follow it up with a quick swing and they are going down. The mind trick ability is probably one of the most annoying abilities to come up against in the game. So when Ray hits you with a good mind trick, you better be ready to die because nine times out of 10, that's what's going to happen. So imagine using that on your side. If you're playing Ray and you hit a hero with a mind trick, they are gonna be in a world of hurt. So Ray definitely much deserving of the number one ranking. And I'm sure you guys aren't really surprised because most of you that play the game will know how effective she can be. Now, guys, this has been my rankings of all the light side heroes from nine to one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your list of heroes are in the comments down below. And I will be doing a part two to this video with all of the dark side heroes, of course. I would be silly not to do that video after doing this one. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that one as well. The channel has been doing really well lately, and I just want to say a big thank you to everyone everyone that's been supporting and I will keep pumping out videos as much as I can. Anyways, smack a like if you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. I will see you guys all in the next video. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the force be with you always.